Hey, my loves, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to press that notification bell so you can get weekly updates on all of my recipes. Please don't forget to like and don't forget to share. Let everybody know about Miss Jackie's cooking, okay? My loves, today we are going to make some delicious spicy mustard fried chicken wings okay this recipe is easy it's tasty it's delicious and it's one of those things that you could just lay back and grab nothing difficult my loves we have some chicken wings which i've already cleaned this is about three and a half pounds of chicken wings i've already cleaned it and so forth so make sure you clean your poultry okay then we have some cornstarch all right and um this is uh going to help make our chicken crispy okay then we have some um italian seasoning we have some green seasoning i'll leave the link for you in the description box we have some chicken bouillon flavor some sazon completo or complete season and guys <sighs> We have some hot pepper sauce. I forgot to lift it up to show y'all, but we have some hot pepper sauce, black pepper. Um, we have some mustard, any mustard of your liking. French is just plain or regular mustard. We have some onion powder. Okay. And we have some good old garlic powder. And we also have oil of course which we're going to use for frying i got canola oil right here okay and we have some flour all right so we are going to get started on this quick and easy recipe all right so my loves i'm just going to pour some mustard of course the mustard is the star of this recipe and mustard is really good it penetrates really quickly into meats and it adds great flavor okay now we're going to add our green seasoning and for all of you that have been following me for some time now um you'll notice that i use a lot of green seasoning so of course i'll definitely leave the recipe in the link but in the description box below because this is something that's the base for a lot of cooking and once you learn the base you could add more of this you could add that whatever to your liking but it's just so good to marinate with cook with okay then we have our chicken bouillon flavoring okay and we're going to add some of that that's going to add some delicious flavor to our chicken wings i mean who doesn't like chicken wings who doesn't i think you know it's easy it's no mess you could it's like a nice finger food okay so guys just to remind you the ingredients are listed in the description box below okay now i'm adding some complete seasoning I like to add this because it has everything in it and it's, it doesn't have like a heavy salt base to it. I'm adding some black pepper. Now I'm giving you the measures of the amount of black pepper. You want to add more, go ahead. You want to add less, it's up to you. Now we're adding some um, garlic powder. Now we're adding some onion powder. And guys, I also have another recipe on wings. It's like my sticky barbecue stovetop wings, which I think you guys will love, okay? And this is some hot pepper sauce, my loves. If you have regular hot sauce, I guess you could use that, but this is hot pepper sauce. You could get like the Scotch bonnet sauces, the Jamaican kind. This is something called El Yucatan, tank, tank, something like that. It's like a habanero chili, like, but it's really hot. I love it. Okay, so if you could find like a nice hot pepper sauce, but if you want to use some Tabasco, you could use Tabasco on this as well. So you can measure out how spicy you want it. Okay, I like it nice and spicy. So I'm going to add a good tablespoon of this into my chicken wings. If you want to add less, Add less, okay? But it's spicy because that's what I want. 
you know, but it's really, really good. But if you don't want to make it spicy, my loves, you don't have to, okay? But I, this here, it's so good, so, so good. But I'll leave the link of it below in the description box, okay? So, right now, my loves, we have our ingredients in here. And this here is going to be absolutely delicious, well seasoned. We're going to use our hands. Make sure your hands are cleaned. Look up under the nails, okay? Come on, come on. It's important. So if you're going to use your hands, which is what God gave you, make sure they're clean, okay? So we're just going to massage all those flavors in there, okay? Massage all of those seasonings into that bad boy. And, and the mustard allows all that stuff to stick on to the chicken. And that's what's so good about it. Um, so it's good to cook with. It really is good to cook with. Oh, yeah. And I had forgot to add <laughs> my um, or, um, Italian seasoning. And this has everything. Rosemary basil oregano thyme okay so you're going to add a little bit of that in there as well okay and we're going to massage it in there get those flavors nice and penetrated in there now this doesn't need long to marinate it really doesn't i mean if you want you could fry this right away but if you want it to you know, you could marinate it for what, 20 to 30 minutes, okay, at room temperature. You could just leave it out, let it marinate for about 20 to 30 minutes, okay? Or if you just want to get it fried, go ahead, you know, but it doesn't need long to marinate at all. So let's get started on this whole frying preparation, all right? So now, my guys and guiles we are going to put in some flour in a bag okay and we're going to add some cornstarch now the cornstarch is the secret the cornstarch is what makes it really really crispy isn't it so good when you have a nice chicken wing and you bite into so so crunchy i love that so this is what it is that cornstarch is going to make it nice and crunchy and i'm just going to mix that together and at this point my loves you really don't have to season the flour if you want to you can but i really don't think it's necessary Necessary. So right now we're going to add some of our chicken wings in there and guys when you add the chicken wings in there and you shake it press that flour into the wings Okay, press that flour into the wings and we're going to shake off any excess flour. Okay All right now we're going to get our oil prepared Okay, get our oil nice and hot Make sure your oil is nice and hot because when it's nice and hot, you want the flour and the cornstarch to, to shock when it hits the oil, okay? Because you want to have that crisp, you know, it's like a shock. So the minute it hits that oil that's nice and hot, it's going to automatically start firming up really qu um, quickly. But if you have it on a low, 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 low heat, it's going to be soggy. We don't want that. We want nice crispy chicken wings we're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes i pretty much wanted the chicken to i mean you don't have to deep fry but i wanted enough oil in the pot where the chicken the whole chicken could be submerged okay um this is about a 10 minute process and you'll know when the chicken is done because what's gonna have start happening the wings are going to start to float. They're going to start to float. So right now, as you can see, they're frying nicely. Okay, I got this on a nice medium-high heat. Okay, on a nice medium-high heat. And, and this is something, oh my God, you know, you could even eat this. I remember when I made this, we had some left over. I went right in the fridge in the middle of the night. Oh, my God. So good. 
Cold chicken is good, believe it or not. Some of y'all might be like, ew. Oh, come on. You know when you're hungry, you just grab a piece of a cold chicken. It's, it's Listen, it's good. Okay, look at that beautiful golden brown color. Look at that. Nice and crispy. That's what we want. That's why it's important to have it at a medium high temperature or a high temperature at first. And you could moderate and bring it down to a medium high because you want that flour to shock so it won't be soggy. We don't want a soggy coating. Okay. So 10 minutes. And again, you'll notice when the chicken is done because what will happen if you look closely, the chicken will start to have a little floating going to it, you know. Okay, and now we are going to take this first batch out. And, you know, I would suggest that you have some paper towels on a pan or a brown paper bag so you could drain any excess oil. Okay, so you could have that ready on the side. Okay, that's just to drain the excess oil. We're going to do our second batch now. And also, key, do not overcrowd your pan. That is the key. Do not overcrowd your pan. Okay, you don't want to do that. It's so important not to do that because you don't... It, if you add too much, it will drop the temperature of the oil. And we don't want that. Okay, so... For sell a pot like this, I'll add like five or six, okay, chicken wings. And my loves, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to press that notification bell so you can be alerted every time I put up new recipes. Please give me a like, okay, and let everybody know about Jackie's cooking, okay? All right, so now we're taking this batch out. Look at that. You see the chicken floating? You see that? That's when you know, especially with the wing part, you'll know because it means that the chicken's cooked inside, so therefore it's going to float. Okay, we're going to take that. We're going to drain that chicken, my loves, and here it is. Look at that. Simple, spicy, mustard, fried chicken wings. You could you put any dip with it. It's nice and crunchy. Blue, you could but what, get some blue cheese as a dip. You could, you, you could put hot sauce. You could use barbecue sauce, ketchup. You could just eat it like that. It's a nice finger food, especially when you're having company. Well, I don't know if we're having company now, especially with all this COVID. But it's just a nice, cute appetizer okay so my loves i want you to enjoy this okay and i need you guys to do three things for me i need you to eat love and pray and happy holidays merry christmas